How's it going guys and welcome to another video. So off late, I've been doing a lot of research about software development and how exactly is AI affecting this domain. And upon my analysis, it's become quite clear that one specific subdomain within software development that's completely reshaped by the emergence and dominance of AI is application security. AI is not only writing code, it's also refactoring it as well as pushing commits. And look, while this is incredible, the traditional tools that we have in place, such as static analyzers, scanners, or even patch managers are not exactly equipped to deal with this type of code generation. As a result of this, this is where your biggest challenge with AI and application security comes into the picture. And while there are a lot of vendors in the market that are currently tackling this problem head on, I'm going to be discussing and looking at Mend.io's all-in-one application security platform that's completely changing the way AI-driven application security is going to be taking place today and in the future. So in order to look at what exactly is changing with application security and how tools and platforms like Mend.io are tackling that problem, make sure you watch this video till the very end. Let's back up for a second. AppSec, which is the short form for application security, is everything you do to keep your code secure before it actually goes into production or is deployed. You've got traditional tools like static analysis, open source scanning, dependency updates, and container security. As a result of this, teams have to juggle half a dozen tools just to keep up. And this is where Mend.io tackles things differently. What it has is a central dashboard which integrates all of these different components, including static analysis, open source scanning, dependency updates, and now even AI security into the one central dashboard. So what this then gives you is, it gives you the advantage of having that one singular view for your entire software supply chain. Hence, you don't need to jump between five or six different platforms. Rather, you've got complete control over your entire software, right from the code up until to the AI models that are actually being used within that code. It's the kind of integration that makes sense in today's digital day and age, where security and code generation are blended together with efficient management and centralized access. Now, here's where things are really changing in application security. More and more companies are not just using AI, rather they are building products that's got AI directly baked into them. Think about internal chatbots, customer-facing assistance, or AI-driven search tools. These aren't AI-generated code problems, rather they're more AI-powered application problems. Once you embed an LLM into your product, Securing it becomes a completely different ballgame because now you're just not securing your code base, rather you're also securing the AI model, the data it uses, the prompts it uses, and literally the biggest challenge is how exactly it behaves in a real world scenario. This is where products like Mend.io's AI security layer actually fits in. When you connect a project, it automatically detects that your application is using an AI component and it maps things out like your models that you're using, the known vulnerabilities, the prompts that it uses or is relying on internally, as well as the licenses associated to them. Basically, it gives you a full inventory, also called as an AI bills of materials, known as AI bomb. So you can see exactly what AI you're shipping to your customers even before your product goes live. Ment also does a full red teaming test, by means of which it sends specially crafted messages to your AI chatbot to find out its associated issues or vulnerabilities. Let's look at why traditional AppSec tools don't cut it. The reason is because the traditional tools relied on static analysis, which included applications or codes that didn't talk back, didn't interpret data, and pretty much didn't have a brain of its own. But with AI, that is completely changed. You've literally now got an application that you can, you can be safe to say that it's alive. It can talk back to you, it can interpret data, as well as generate output on the fly. And what this means is that your traditional SAST or DAST tools can miss a whole heap of new vulnerabilities that are sort of brought into the picture as a result of the integrations with artificial intelligence. We are not just talking about SQL injections anymore, rather we are completely refocusing our attention towards prompt injections, data leakages, as well as behavioral exploitations with AI and how it interprets different types of prompts. This is where men's AI red teaming comes into the picture. And trust me, this is one of the smartest approaches I've seen to this date. So what exactly is AI red teaming? Think of it as penetration testing, but for AI behavior. Instead of testing, for example, let's say API endpoints, you're rather now testing for how exactly your AI 
sees data and responds to it. You literally simulate full-blown attacks like prompt injections, data hallucination, and behavioral exfiltration to see how exactly your AI responds to this. In men.io system, this sits right inside their AI security dashboard and this is exactly how it works. Say for example, it's a chatbot that should be answering customer questions, but at the same time, it shouldn't really be revealing any personal data associated with it. Once you generate that intent, men's AI red teaming engine will then generate hundreds of adversarial test cases. It tries to trick your model, see if it actually exposes any sensitive data, goes off topic or behaves in a pretty unsecure manner. After running those tests, you get a detailed breakdown of how many tests were run, how many tests passed, how many tests failed, which categories are at risk like prompt injection or data exposure. And at the end of this, you get a complete sort of report card, which is your AI security score. It's like seeing your AI's security health report. What are the exact domains it did well in? What specific aspects it needs working on so that you as an engineer can then take the necessary steps to correct these issues. And what's clever is that it's connected to the rest of your AppSec stack. If a test fails because of a dependency or a configuration error, you can literally pivot into men's SCA or SAST view in order to fix it. No exporting reports or no context switching at all. And this is where it exactly starts to click. It's not AI security as a separate component, rather AI security as part of your current application security workflow or lifecycle. And that's a pretty big deal because it makes AI risk management something that security teams can actually operationalize. Let's exactly see where application security is actually headed. And zooming out, it's not just about patching vulnerabilities anymore, rather predicting behaviors associated with your code. We're literally going from scanning code to testing AI reason. From does this function compile safely to does this model behave safely? And this is where mend.io is one of those few platforms that's actually changing with the times. A central dashboard or a central view of your code, your AI security, all as one single workflow. Literally everything monitored through the same lens. And look, this doesn't mean that everyone has to use men.io. It's just a view of how application security is evolving and what direction it's headed towards. It's restructuring our thinking about security and how AI integrate into software development life cycles and how we've got to be prepared for the future. And let me clear one thing, AI isn't replacing developers, rather it's becoming a part of the development life cycle. And this is where as application security engineers, we have got to evolve as well. AI red teaming, visibility into your AI components within your application and AI builds of materials, also called as an AI bomb, are some of the few things that we've got to get familiar with from an application security perspective. If you're building with AI today, start thinking about how exactly you're going to secure those systems. Because it's not enough to scan code anymore, you've literally got to test the behavior behind it. And if you want to see what exactly that looks like, tools today like mend.io's AI red teaming feature, for example, is a perfect view into understanding that. It's a practical example of how today's generation AppSec tools and platforms are currently being built. And this was all about application security, the emergence of AI, and how exactly next generation tools like men.io help solve these challenges associated with AI and AppSec. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the videos I make on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.